Hey, how's it going everyone? WTF Sexy Headphones here. Happy Mondays to you guys. It's getting late trying to rush this out to you. Just got off of work. But my camera quality seems kind of blah. It's because it's getting dark and the lighting in my room sucks and the camera just seems to run shittier when I don't have like daylight shining upon my glorious headphones. So, ha. Huh. So let's, let's, let's get this rolling. So anyway, Oblivion Lost is back up for you guys to download. A handful of people have been mentioning in the comments and noticing that Oblivion Lost was taken down and I think I touched point on that last week, I believe. I'm gonna touch point on that. I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast, so bear with me. Uh, so that is back up, and for those of you guys who might not know and this sounds new to you, uh, essentially it was taken down for a little bit. There was a handful of bugs and issues, and people were getting a little bit too complainy about it, so they took it down for temporarily while they worked on the fixes, and then just recently uh, came out with 3.1, which has fixes as far as the Perfect Suit mission is fixed, uh, which we saw that one bugged out in my Let's Play. A couple of other missions that had some issues were fixed, as well as the respawning issue was uh, supposed to be fixed in the new one as well, and a plethora of other things that I don't remember because I can't read. I can't remember all of them, but I read them. And so they did a good chunk of fixes to it, so it should be a lot better um, and a lot smoother for everyone. So check that out if you guys have not yet gotten Oblivion Lost and we're looking at it. Go onto their mod page, you'll be able to see it there, and you'll get that fresh new one that will be good for you and it'll be awesome. So go check it out, go play it. And then for those of you guys who already have it like I do, go update. Go update, get the latest and greatest. Um, so you guys know you will have to have a new save, a new game. It doesn't, it doesn't go with your old saves. So you have to start a new game. Thankfully, I was in contact uh, with uh, one of the developers and he was kind enough to give me um, a save point at the bar. I haven't yet got it downloaded because I was having some issues with my computer being dumb as fuck. Um, but I'm gonna try and get it downloaded and see how that goes and then see where that bar save is at so I can not have too much lag time uh, in the Let's Play. And worst case scenario, if I do have to start over, I wasn't all too far anyway, so starting over is fine. Uh, we, I can do that and I don't know, maybe I'll stream it or something because why not? Maybe I'll just do a live stream until I can get back to where the Let's Play is. I have not decided we'll figure that out, I don't know. You know? I don't know. So we'll see. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Wanted to let you guys know that that is out and it is back and, uh, and enjoy it guys. Let's not, let's not be, let's not be shitty. Cause from what it seems like what I was hearing, uh, the issues were kind of, uh, similar with what actually, I think I brought up a long time ago with misery. A lot of people get kind of complainy and, and a little bit on the ungrateful side to our poor modding community. And I always have a heart to go out to them. Um, and that was actually how I got in contact with the devs because I heard the, you know, I offered a hand of maybe doing beta testing if need be to try and help them out. Because I think sometimes our community forgets that these guys are not people making shit tons. It's not a giant develop, de uh, you know, development community making shit tons of money. Uh, who can dedicate their whole lives into these kind of things on most occasions, particularly, say, stalker mods. It's not something that people can dedicate their lives to and spend shit tons of money. They're not a giant development team. And I think our community kind of forgets that because we can be, from what I've been seeing, a bit harsh on uh, our developers that come out with these awesome, amazing mods for this game that we love and I think that people are not giving them as much credit as they should and I think that's a shame because I love our stalker community, I love our modders, I love what they can do and what they can take one of our favorite games and turn it into and improve upon it and so just just reach out you guys and hug a developer and thank them for doing awesome shit because you know, that was, a, that was an issue that happened a little bit with Misery, and granted that happens with everything. You always have your critics. That was an issue happened with Misery. A lot of people were bitching a lot about, you know, still having some bugs and issues, and I was working closely with that team for a while, and I could see every single day they're in those forums trying to solve those issues, and they were always working hard at it. And I'm sure it's the same with, you know, Oblivion Lost Devs, too. They're working hard on it, but, you know, they're a small group of people with a passion for Stalker like the rest of us. Uh, you know, they're not... They're not this giant ass company. They're not Activision or whatever, you guys. So let's not be dicks, okay? They can't. They can only work. They can only do so much magic with the engine that Stalker's running into. That engine is buggy as fuck. So let's not let's not be cocks about it, okay? That but that engine's buggy as fuck. There's only so much we can do, especially when they're a small team. So 
I'm done going on a rant. I'm done going on a tangent. Um, I just wanted to touch point on that too because I feel so passionately for these guys who, like, I love I love the stalker mods. I love the game. We all do. They're awesome and it always bumps. You know, I mean, I don't have deal with it too much because I'm a small channel and you no, know, I pretty much slip under the radar. But it always drives me nuts when I'm getting complaints about something that I'm doing or whatever. When it's like, it's like I'm just a small little person doing what I love. I mean. Ow. Like, you know, that stuff sucks. So, I mean, you know, these guys are doing awesome things and, and are talented. And, you know, I, I feel for them. I feel for them when they're getting people bitching about tiny shit and not, you know, go, not understanding, hey, these guys are doing some awesome crap. They're a small group. You know, they're not making fuck tons of money for this. They're doing, I'm most likely doing this in their spare time. Let's not be dicks to them for trying to come up with something awesome and free to all of us. This is free. I can go download them. It's free. Let's not be douches. Okay, I'm done. I'm done going on a tangent. I'm done going on a tangent. Reach out, hug a developer. They're awesome. They do great shit. I love it. That's all I gotta say. I did not prepare a fact. I think I have some written down. I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> okay, we'll do that one. So I don't know if you guys have seen the co-optional podcast uh, with like Total Biscuit, Dodger, Jesse, Cox, and random third person? Fourth person that comes in? I don't pay attention to it that much, but they've animated parts of their podcasts, and I can't get enough of them. If you guys have not seen the co-optional podcasts like animated like they're fucking hysterical jesse is my favorite i like he's just he's just the life of that to me i just i love him like i will literally go through every now and again like like clockwork every now and again i'll go through and i'll just marathon like any co-optional podcast animated series they have because the animation is super cute uh and adorable and i just fucking love it and not only that but i think the group is rather funny particularly as i said jesse he's my favorite i adore him i find it hysterical and i just love him and like seeing them in a cute little animation it's just i love watching those so there's my fact story whatever you guys want to call it i'm done babbling i i want to change out of work clothes and go lie in bed and do nothing so you guys have a lovely rest of the mondays and i will Maybe see you in Stalker tomorrow. I got work tomorrow and I got to try and get that shit downloaded. I don't know. I'm trying. Maybe see you guys. We'll, we'll find out. You'll find out. You'll see. Or maybe you won't see because there will not be nothing there. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good rest of the Mondays and I'll see you in whatever video I have next. Okay? Bye. Feel my power.